Hey everybody, back to Fallout 76 yet again. Um, yeah, just for some new gameplay, just playing this game. It's been like a week since I've uploaded it, since I finished the Road to Level 100 character. Actually, we're on that character. Same character, level 120 now, though. So yeah, I'm going to show you where to hopefully get some handmaids, and then we're going to do some other stuff. So, you want to go here, the Blake's Offering, and here to this other Mothman place. Mothman... Basically, Mothman cultists apparently can drop handmaids. Actually, I know that they can drop handmaids. So yeah, now it seems to be only ones that are in the mire. So I guess those two locations, I'm not sure if there's another one. Um, I don't believe the Mothman cultists that are over in this area will drop handmaids. I know that they will over here though. If they're there, if someone didn't clear this out already, we shall see. I'm not seeing any enemies. Ugh. Oh, nope, there we go. I thought I was going to have to restart, do, restart the video. Alright, let's see. Will you drop me a handmaid? My armor broke. No, you dropped a pipe rifle. What about you? Uh, handmaid! Yep, there, there's one. Axe. These guys drop, like, kind of the harder to get weapons. Impact. Yep, yeah, there's another handmaid. Two handmaids there. You're probably gonna drop a combat shotgun. Your health just reset. Alright, shotgun chill. Combat shotgun. Is there any other Mothman cultists around here? No. Let's see, how many handmaids have we gotten? Oh yeah, combat shotgun, that's pretty good. Marksman sniper rifle, wow, they, they just straight up drop hunting rifles that are fully kitted out. Interesting. Pipe rifle, we got double barrel, short handmade. I think that was two handmaids. I was here earlier and they dropped a submachine gun, which is also pretty good. But yeah, the these Mothman cultists, I'm overcumbered a lot. I need to do the excavator quest line on this character. I realize I have not done that yet. I haven't done a lot of quests on this character. Like, a lot. Huh. There's a lot of quests in this game. Like, I know we, we, are, we are starving for content right now. Hello, random entry bot, strike breaker. Why are you randomly in way out of your area? Uh, once you know how to kill them fast, they're no longer a threat. But why is the Strike Breaker over here? The Strike Breaker is, like, special. They're supposed to be over here. This is the Strike Breaker zone. Alright, game, you do whatever you want. But yeah, as I was saying, like, if you're starting a new character in Fallout 76, there is a lot to do. However, if you are a veteran player, a player who's been playing for at least over a year now, I've been playing since the beta, there is actually not much to do because you've done everything. And Bethesda Bethesda is not focused on end game content really. It's not they're not really focused on appeasing the players that are already there. At least that much. They have done it a little, but most of the content that they've added has been basically trying to attract new players. They they're constantly trying to attract new players. You know, I mean, look at the Wastelanders thing. The Wastelanders was entirely to get you know, people that didn't like the game because it didn't have NPCs back and new players. All right, look at look at the uh, Brotherhood of Steel stuff. That's straight up. Hey, look, Brotherhood of Steel's in this game. You know, straight up like a uh, fan service. That's kind of what the Brotherhood of Steel quest line was. Just a bunch of fan service. I mean, like, it's honestly pretty forgettable. The Brotherhood quest line. You know. I mean, I haven't done. I I did it on one character and partway through on another and I just didn't care because what I'm going to do and hopefully I, I believe I fixed all my audio issues right I want to do the entire Brotherhood quest line still rain still dawn plus still rain in one video in one big video right just one big long play I'm very overcumbered is there any groups there's one do any of you have weak perks now you have bare arms that's sort of helping me so I do have the pepper shaker I have a pepper shaker. I got two. Look at that one. 
That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, one agility is not great. And then I got an executioners with this. This is actually a pretty good combination. Executioners with that like new ability that like doubles the damage of your last shot, which c does coincide with executioners really good. The only problem is I have no attachments for this thing, and I tried going to Samuel, but because I guess I haven't done Wastelanders yet, uh, he doesn't have anything for me. So yeah. Alright, so for right now, just a double barrel. Quad double barrel. Which, if you're a shotgun build... If you're a shotgun build, I highly recommend getting a quad double barrel. Hello. Executing hold up procedure. Drop everything you got, friend. Nice and easy. This is a stick up. Frustrated iteration. Are you hard of hearing, friend? Empty your pockets, drop the goods, and walk away. I've heard that voice before. The like. Discontented restatement. I'm not gonna tell you again. Let's see if I drop money. On the ground now. Ah, oh, random encounters. Did it work? Dang it. I don't know. The random encounters in this game are, are rough. They're, they're fun. There's a, there's a lot of random encounters, and we you do miss a lot of them by fast traveling everywhere. Like, if you were to... Like, if you were to pretend that fast travel doesn't exist, and you were to walk everywhere, you would... There's a lot of things you miss. I mean, how do you think I get a lot of my legendaries? How do you think my characters are filled with legendaries? It's because I don't actually fast travel that much. You know, I'm filled with legendaries on this character. I have five characters filled with legendaries. It's because I walk everywhere. Like, like every location in this game, I believe, can spawn a, a legendary, so when you fast travel past all of them, you lose it. There's also a couple other ways I farm legendaries as well. One is farming ghouls. I highly recommend farming ghouls, but nobody seems to do that. <laughs> there was this one video on YouTube complaining about the drop rates and how like bad trying to farm legendaries is. I'm like, so you just need to know how. And you need to, like, also stop min-maxing your characters. No reason to min-max your characters in this game. No content is hard enough. Maybe the new daily ops that's coming. Well, it's not really new daily ops. It's just, here, have two mutations at the same time. You, handmade, drop. Dang it, hunting rifle. Ah, oh, well. Man, I wish these guys were a faction you could join. When they were first revealed... Hey, another handmaid. When they when they were first revealed, they sounded like they were a, a, a faction that you could join. They, but they're not. They're basically just raiders. Reskinned raiders. I'm not even raiders. They, they're just random... You know, they don't serve a function other than just being enemies. Gamer Trunk, you are empty. But it, if you know what I mean, like... They don't do anything. Handmade. You're wondering why I'm farming handmaids, despite apparently being a shotgun build, right? Uh, this is my ultimate build. It's the I can. If you're new to this, this this character is going to have 13 of every base of every base stat except charisma. Meaning, I'll be able to use any weapon in the game on this one character. I'll be able to use melee weapons, shotguns, heavy weapons, bows, riflemen, commando, pistols, heavy, I uh, said heavy guns, every type of weapon. This character will be able to do any build. And I want, and that, the reason I want that is, be, is because of, uh, I want to use it as a test bed for doing, uh, weapon tests and reviews and something else I want to do on this channel. Problem is, problem here, is Bethesda like, really likes grind. And I have to get each of these to level 5. The problem is, it takes a lot of perk card points. 
I managed to get these up pretty high for only being level 120. And that's the and that was done by a combination of basically scrapping every perk I had when leveling up, um, using every scoreboard. Basically, every scoreboard perk card pack uh, I would use on this character, and then scrap all the perk cards. All right, just giving me tons of uh, perk card points. So that was pretty good. I need to have a scrapping thing. Who? Where is a? I can go up there. Oh, there's blood eagles. Do they? They might drop handmaids. Hmm. Hmm. Let us go see. Is there any other games that people want to see on the channel? Because like Fallout seventy six is getting boring. I want. I don't know. That's the thing. Is like I don't know what else to upload right now. Because it's summer and there's like no games. However, what I, what I was thinking about doing. Right on this channel. Is reviewing novels that are based on video games. Like video game novels. Not video games that are made from novels. Like The Witcher. Like The Witcher is a game that is based on a novel. I mean like. I mean the opposite. Like. The video game came first. Then the novel. And I have, I have a couple of them, actually. actually let's see, I have that one. I got some World of Warcraft ones I can do. I've been reading... I'm partway through reading the first of the um, Hellgate London books. It's called Exodus. Hellgate London Exodus. Um, it's been... never played Hellgate London the game. But I know it's, it's really cool. I know it was made by former Diablo developers. It's a pretty cool game. You can't really play anymore. You sort of can. You can play like a watered down version. It's a weird time. Actually, I actually have a Star Wars video game novel. Alright? Like. It, it's a weird one. I remember I read it back in the day, but I don't remember any of it. I, it coincides with the uh, Star Wars Galaxies. So that this is it. That, so that's a novel based on a video game based on a movie. <laughs> I like the Blood Eagles. I have a theory about the Blood Eagles, right? Like I have a Fallout Lore channel, uh, uh, Wasteland Weaponistics. I'm gonna link that in, in the description. Combat rifle. These guys good sorts of combat rifles. Eh, assault rifle. Oh, I leveled up. Oh, there we go. Is that the final? Oh, that's the final thing of the scoreboard. Okay. There we go. Well, I don't need to worry about that anymore. a ghillie suit on on the armor i don't know how, how i feel about it looks weird with the gas tank i might switch this armor out i might try to get um there's gonna be a new armor added to daily ops which is like winterized it's it's like a winter marine armor i thought that looked that looks pretty neat if it has the helmet that's the like i really like how marine armor looks the problem is that you can't get the helmet in the game well you can't get it easily if that makes sense. I don't know. This character, I want it to look like a super soldier. Alright. Get rid of you. Don't I need? Enter on cross, but I need you. That's not great, but not terrible. Cursed pickaxe. I can do that. That's fine. Suppressors, but that's got explosive, so I thought it was okay. Let's see what you. I got stand fast, which is like a, kind of a worthless legendary. Oh. Um, I need to level up Not right now. Scrapper, put that on. 
All right, let's see what attachments we get. Eh. Right. Ooh, hardener receiver. That's good. Thank you for you. Recon scope on a shotgun. Well, I think we're done with that. All right, first handmade. What do we get? Long scope. Not great, but eh. A short scope for the sniper rifle. Five rifle. Oh, nothing. Pitchfork. Nothing. Five rifle? Okay. I'm gonna wait for the radiation rumble thing to go away. We got a good amount of handmaids. Ooh, muzzle break. Not... Combat rifle. Forceful stock. That's good. That's improved durability. Okay. Del barrel. Alright, handmade. Piercing magazine. Great. Glow sights. Not as great. Still fine. Alright. Nothing for you. Nothing for you. And submachine gun. Reflex sight. I was hoping for the armor piercing receiver. Nope. Oh, that's something like that. Has anyone ever used full wood armor, like, to make a stealth build? Because, like, wood armor is, like, I think technically a... There's so many stealth armors in this game, and, like, most people don't use them because you because of how powerful and yielding is, you know? Like, a full thing of... Like, that's the thing about, like, this game is, like... But that's a... But this is very weird about balance in this game. And that they always add in these new, like, ways to play. But they always are, like, never any better than what we've had since the start. You know? Like, a bloodied stealth commando using full and yielding is still the best build in the game. Been the best build since launch. Basically, it's just no one used it because we had two shot explosive that was really powerful back then. It was... Uh, the best all the way up to One Wasteland. It's the best after One Wasteland. But then Bethesda adds in like, oh, here's stealth armor. Here's healing armor. And, he and there's healing perks in the game. But no there's nothing that's useful, you know? I should get uh, fix it good, shouldn't I? Repair armor. I really need to repair that one piece. Repair armor and power. That's what we need. I'm running out of shotgun shells. Again. What to do now? It's been 18 minutes. I did all those. So I don't need to. Oh, I want, let me put that new, um, Collectatron up. I want to see how he looks. Because he's not a regular Protectron, he's a robot. That that does beg the question. Now, Emil Bagliarulo said that the Atomic Shop is not canon. Correct? He, he said that the Atomic Shop is not canon because it prevents them from doing things that they would consider fun and not, but also would break the lore. So, are the seasons canon or not, right? Goodbye, gold guy. They broke my ammo converter. Not that it's in use. Not that, that thing's ever useful. They've still never fixed it. They fixed it once and then gave up on it, basically. It's such a, it's a worthless thing. Where are resources? I passed it. Food decor. Uh, oh, water, power connectors, generators. Am I passing it? Yeah. There it is. Yeah, there. Let's, let's try this. Oh, he just appears. That's cool. He's cool looking. He's tall. Jesus. He's like... Seven foot tall? Maybe six, eight? Somewhere around there? Like, is he cannon? Like, is this robot cannon? Right? And th that does beg the question. Right, if the seasons are not cannon, then Solomon Hardy over here. The, medic, the brother to steal medic guy you can put in your camp. That you got from one of the seasons. 
This guy. Thanks again for letting me stick around. He's not canon then. So he's not real. Fallout 76 and the lore has a lot to answer for. Like our season's canon? I don't know. That's uh, as said. Oh, someone's doing that. You're the only one there. You're the only one there. Well, I'll go. I only have 23. I need shotgun ammo. <laughs> this isn't going to be good. Oh, strangler heart. That's good. Oh, you don't understand. Yeah, strangler heart, but he doesn't understand that, like, eh. I really want their jumpsuit, but you have to have, like, you have to keep all four of the, uh, every, um, guy alive to get their jump or their radiation suit if, if it's only me and you I'm leaving oh nope, there's more people okay. hey, a penny. do I have any other ammo got that crossbow ammo oof Pepper Shaker is a really cool weapon because it's it's like the first hybrid weapon. I mean, because you might say, oh, well, isn't the plasma and laser pistol the hybrid weapons? No, not really, because those don't, those you switch between pistol and rifle. These, this is a heavy gun and a shotgun at the same exact time. enough to do it. Well, that guy's got pepper shaker. He's got only got the double. See, he's got attachments on his. I don't. And I only have 20 some shots. So. Five pounds of aluminum, 10 pounds of What's he got? Oh, that's cool. Oh, is he doing the melee build with it? That's been popular. It's been getting real popular. Feels good to clean a place up and make a quick buck at the same time. Is everybody? How many people we got? I yeah. should say. <sighs> that, yeah, that smells terrible. Yeah, you start it. You new here? You're bold to wander into a place like this. Start. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, everyone. Today, we're going to be recovering ore to decon. I need some of you in those tunnels gathering the... Oh, I can show you how to get a uh, ore without having to put radiation or a power suit on. Or a power armor suit on. Their survival is a priority. And don't forget it. The ghouls don't like us messing around down there, so gather as much as possible before they overwhelm us. Let's go. Let's see how fast we lose this. <laughs> I love this event because it's actually difficult, right? And it actually forces, like, group play. Oh, he's AFK. Okay, that's not good. And I'm out of that. Oh, hey, I'm not specced for this, so this is... This might take a while. I need this thing to be full auto. It's basically worthless. I have grenades, I can do that. Oh, here I can show you what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna get ore from down there without needing 
a thing. Still hurt? Yes. Okay, I got a red shield. Okay. So a red shield won't protect you. It'll protect you some, but you still need to do this. Oh, what? It used to work. No, that used to, that worked. I guess I have to be lagging for it to work. Oh, darn. Do I still have it on me? Red shield, okay, yeah. Yeah, we lost this, guys. Guys, we... <laughs> uh, that's why I love this event. It is difficult, and I, I absolutely love this event. I want more events like this. I want more events that are difficult. See, I can do it now. See, now now I can do it. I can get a uh, ore from down here without really good radiation protection. You just need to keep spamming right away. The red shield does very little, but you can go down here. You just need to keep spamming the right away. Not this matter, we lost this, Jesus. There, there's some more. There you go, people. All scavengers are dead, yeah. This is difficult, this, this is difficult. kill everything because it's still good XP. I don't have a... I should put um thing back on. I'll do that a... Uh... What's the perk? Perk that in improves your experience when you're in a group. I just look it up. But when you're doing this, what else? you want to loot all the ghouls. No matter what, you want to loot them all because they might have Pleasant Valley claim tokens on them. Now, not a lot of people realize what you can get with Pleasant Valley Claim Tokens. You can get the fancy series of weapons. A rare, kind of unique. See, the trick to scavenging is to scavenge. I'm not seeing any Pleasant Valley Claim Tokens, though. That's sad. Cigarettes. Free war money. Blah, blah. Or money. Or money. Dang it. I wanted a Pleasant Valley claim token. You're welcome here. Because I have not been able to get the fancy revolver or the fancy shotgun on e any character. I'd really like the fancy shotgun. It's a... It's actually a really good unique for as far as unique go in this game. Because most uniques are kind of worthless. Oh, 28 minutes. Yeah. I don't know, go 35, I guess. It'd be around there. I don't want to go too long, because I notice when YouTube, on YouTube, when you start uploading, like, 40-minute videos, YouTube freaks out, and it, like, takes a really long time to render your video. So, I don't like going that far up. Right. So, let's look at the build here. Let's actually look at this. I need... Okay, so I'm only, only going to have two more things. But that does mean I'll be able to put back on... Shotgunner. So if I could... Get... If I can get the... Medic's backpack... I could take that off. Alright. Yeah. I get the chem backpack, and then I could take that off. Put more shotgun perks on... And the agility is a mess. Like, this build is a mess right now. Just because I, I, I basically can't n anywhere near complete this build until I get all of these to level 5. Which is going to take a really long time. Because I have to get them all to 4 first. And to get them all to 4, I need 100, 100, I need 300 more 
for coins, and then I'll need 150. A lot. A lot. Now, what really helps, right? It's on every scoreboard recently. I think the last, well, the last one and this one, Bethesda has been giving away per card points at 50. So, every three scoreboards, I'll be able to level one up. And that's not counting the, um, per card packs. So, yeah, because I have. Eh. Eh. Thinking. This is the one I'm thinking of. Inspirational. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go. I should get more shotgun ammo. How many... 10,000 caps. Uh, you have ammo? Let's go see if you have shotgun ammo. I, I need shotgun ammo. I don't feel like making it. Because obviously on this character I do not have ammo factory. Only ammo smith. This is like the... <laughs> yeah. Where is your vendor? Okay, good. Simple. You do not have anything I need. You have ultra say rounds, you're selling for one cap, interesting. But yet. Um anyone else could have Oh, someone's launching a nuke. Well, fortunately it's been thirty two minutes, so I'm gonna end the end the video here. Um everyone's having fun playing. Have fun playing whatever you're playing. Anyway, uh like, subscribe. Share this video. Alright. Bye.